Hey, hello, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to teach you how to install Java on your computer. So in the previous video we've installed Python and now it's time for us to install Java. So in order to install Java you can just Google download Java JDK. Uh, JDK stands for Java Developmental Kit. So you can download Java from Oracle uh, official website. So click on the first link that appears in the search results and uh, the page something looks like this. It's not a really uh, user interface. You, I mean, good in user interface page, but anyways, it's 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 fine. We can just download it, right? So you can see the latest version of uh, Java JDK over here. Just click on download, and we'll be taken to this page. So yeah, you can just scroll down, and you can select the operating system for which you want to download and install Java. So uh, there you go. This is the Windows. So this one he over here, we have two Windows actually. Uh, first one is an exe file and the second one is a uh, .zip file. So I'll be downloading the .exe file. So before downloading it, uh, make sure you select accept license agreement and then you can just click on this link to download the Java JDK file. And if you're using some other operating system, feel free to choose uh, uh, the operating system you're using. It's available for Linux, Mac, Mac OS and for Windows. So yeah, there you go to download. It's of 158 MB so it doesn't actually take much time to download if you have a reasonable reasonable internet connection all right there you go the download is done so once the download is done just open the downloaded file it's probably an installer so give it the administrative rights and an installer must pop up on your screen yeah just like that so let's click on next uh, this is the path where your java jdk uh, java is going to be installed on your computer so it's by default program files java slash java uh, jdk followed by the version version of the jdk that you're in that you're installing but if you want to change the directory you can click on change but there's actually no use to change this no no real uh, good to change it right so you can just let the default directory be the same so yeah there we go it says that Java SC development kit 12.0.1 successfully installed right so yeah just click on close and now to see if Java is installed or not first of all exit Python by typing in exit and let me clear the screen now uh, type in Java C to see if Java is installed so here you can see it again says Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command right that's because once again java c is not uh, in the system environment variables path so in order to add it just go to your uh, the path where java is installed so you have seen earlier that it is installed in uh, local disk c program files java and then jdk right so you can just rename this folder i, I don't know you can just remove the jdk version name just, just put it as jdk it looks simpler so go to JDK and bin. Oh, is it bin? Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, it's bin, right? So you just go to bin, and you have, you have to copy this path over here. Just click on right click and select copy. And now go to your system environment variables. Open it and go to environment variables. And over here, double click on path and click on new and paste it over here. And that's it you can just hit enter and click ok click ok and click ok now you now that should fix this error java c oh it still says java c is not recognized as an internal direction command let's just close the command prompt once and reopen it again there we go now it worked so you have to after adding it to the system and environment variables path you have to close your command prompt and open it again to see the changes so there you go if you type in java c you see some description or some commands like this right so just you can just clear the screen and by the way if you don't know how to clear the screen it's just cls in windows and clear in mac os or in linux so i think that you must remember uh, that's just basic thing right yeah so we have successfully installed java on our computer so yeah, in the next video, what we'll be doing is one more step uh, before we actually write the code. That is, we need some space or we need an editor to write our code. Be it Python or Java, we have to 
we need an editor to write our code. Obviously, you can use Win, uh, Windows Notepad or Text Edit on Mac OS or on uh, Linux uh, to write the code, but it doesn't actually feel real convenient for beginners to write the code in Notepad or Notepad Plus Plus. Well, Notepad Plus Plus is fine, but there are things which are better than Notepad Notepad Plus Plus. So, in the next video, we will be talking about that. We'll be talking about what to install and where to write the code right so yeah that's it for this video let's meet in the next video